Tableau Prep now does running sums natively. It's new in 23.3. To find out how, as ever, let's get stuck in. Okay, so to do this, I've just opened a standard flow in Tableau Prep. This is one of the default flows that comes in. It's called Superstore. If you look on the bottom left, when you open Tableau Prep, this is the flow you'll see. Now, if I just zoom out here, you'll see this is a very simple flow. It's already been built for us. All I'm going to do is actually add a step. In fact, I've already added it, so I'm going to delete it here because I forgot to do that before I hit record. Um, let's go over to this rolling up of sales. And if we just look at this step, you can see there's some aggregation happening. And what I want to do is show you this function. To do that, I'm just going to hit this plus icon and select the clean step. The reason I need to do this is because the calculation we're going to add is actually created from selecting a column and selecting a calculation. So if I take my sales column as an example and I go ahead and create a calculated field, you see I get this drop down and in there you can see the running calculation is the new feature. Let's go ahead and select that and it opens up this beautiful interface. This is one of the best parts of Tableau Prep. I think it's my favorite bit out of the whole entire Tableau platform this year. This has just been such a nice addition to Tableau Prep because of the way it works. It breaks down how to do multi-row calcs in a way that I think enhances what we've seen in Tableau Desktop for uh, table calculations. How does it work? Well, it's super simple. First, you need to select what you're going to group your table by. And if you think about it, when we're doing running sums, there is essentially a grouping and the default option is just to do a running sum on the whole entire table. So by default, that's what's selected. Um, you can change this and you can choose some of the other items. You can choose the year of sales or quantity. Um, but let's go ahead and choose um, the ordering first, because I want to show you a, a behavior that you should be aware of when you do this. And you might wonder, why can't I see something? This is probably going to be why. If I select year of sales to order the, the, the running sum calculation, that makes sense because time is generally a good way of ordering our information. But as soon as we select year of sale there, you can no longer group by it. So this is going to be just something to watch out for. If you're ordering by something, it's removed from the group by section. And these are all the fields in this particular step. So you do have the option to choose how you're grouping and how you're going to order your data. That's an important element because, of course, you're going to need to run your uh, running sum in a specific direction, and that's decided by how you order the data. So <clears throat> if we order by year, you can see it pretty much grabs all our years and it puts them together, and then it shows us the sum that it's going to do. So um, the nice thing about this interface is that it actually explains exactly what's going on. So if we do a running sum on the full table, what we should see is that the second row is the previous two rows combined. So if I click on that second row, you can see Tableau does this really nice animation that shows a dotted line around the sums uh, that it's doing, and then it shows you the result in the current box that you're in. So as you start to go down, you can see this animation update. It's it's just a really nice touch. I don't know why this makes me so happy. Whoever's built this, absolute chef's kiss, love it. Um, now, when you start to work with this a bit more, you might notice that there's a few things to be aware of. So <clears throat> let's change this up a little bit. Instead of grouping by year of sales, let's oh, actually, instead of grouping by full table, let's go ahead and actually group by sales region. And you'll see that it, it changes a bit because now we're slightly changing the context. So if I go back to the top of my data, you can see here USCA, LATAM, uh, and then you've got the ordering by year of sales. So it actually rearranges the data to kind of first do the grouping, then order by the years. And so when you do the running sum, the running sum starts on the first row, of course, but then it ends here. Can you see it ends there on the uh, that sort of fourth row? Then on the next row, it starts again. And then as we go down, it goes again. It's using our LATAM to, to do the grouping, and then it starts again. And so this is essentially like doing table calcs using panes and uh, dimensions inside of Tableau, but it's just much, much easier to see what's going on here. And the really nice thing here, you maybe not, didn't notice this, that you actually get Tableau calling out. You see this sort of blue highlighting here that's happening uh, on the right hand side. I can't really click on the right on the right part of it. You can just see these blue highlights. They're essentially showing you where your running sums end. And that's a super useful thing to notice because um, by looking at that, you can see, okay, my running sum ends on these uh, particular places, and you can kind of go to them and look at them. And so if I go back to my full table, you'll see that that right-hand side changes, and there isn't really one for the very end because it's just the entire table. But if we change it to, let's say, um, we don't really have something else we can group by that makes sort of logical sense. Um, but yeah, if we change it back to sales region, or actually if we put 
Uh, we can't even really order by uh, profit or discount. I mean, if we wanted to order the, the 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 rows by largest to smallest based on these measures, you could do that. But anyway, you get the idea. This interface is there to be sort of uh, played with. Now you're probably wondering, well. You know, what are the things I can do with this? Well, of course, you've got the running sum. That makes total sense. Running average is a little bit more nuanced because, of course, a running average uh, is going to be based on your grouping. So again, if we select average, we select these, you'll see that all it's doing is adding up the previous rows, then dividing by three, because that's what an average does. So those are the two calculations you can do, running sum, running average. And then, of course, the computation can be done on any measure, so discounts, profit, or sales. By the way, when you're done, uh, you can go ahead and hit done and you're done. But the thing I always forget to do is just rename these. I don't know. I don't know why. And I think it's actually probably because, <clears throat> honestly speaking, when it's created, um, it's not sort of in, I, I don't know if it's me missing something or, or, or what's going on, but I can just, I just always create this. I hit done and uh, I've only really ever paid attention to this now. And then I rename it. I've always wondered why can't I, why can't I just, uh, you know, rename these uh, right there? So um, it's a weird one. Oh, no, you can. I just had a little bug or something when I, whenever I clicked on it. You saw me actually smash the, the mouse there and then it actually works. Maybe that's a bug. And that's happened to me all the time and maybe it's worked this time. But hey, that's that's the, <laughs> the wonder of production. Sometimes you do these things and then they work for you when you're doing the real take. But anyway, here we go. That's pretty much the feature. There's not much more to share there. Um, thanks for watching this video. I've been making videos about 23.3. .3. I'm making videos about ChatGPT as well. I'm kind of hopping in between them. I've recorded three videos actually about Tableau embedding. I'm kind of teeing them up so they can come out back to back. So we're going to try and do a little bit of a sprint all the way till Christmas, get all the videos that I've sort of been on the backlog out. So be sure to keep watching. I'm also sort of fighting in between colds and winter and everything. You'll probably hear my voice is going, uh, but nonetheless, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.